Uh, well, the first time I heard Ingve was uh, through Mike Varney. Uh, we, uh, you know, this is back in the days of the phone, and uh, you, you, you couldn't you couldn't email MP3s to each other. So uh, Mike would call me up. I was 15 years old, and he'd, he'd call me up out of the blue and just go, "Check out this new guy I found," and he'd you know play. Ingve or Tony McAlpine or Sean Lane over the phone and uh, completely scare me <laughs> with, with these unbelievable players. So um, that was the first time I heard Ingve and, and just the, it, it actually did kind of light a fire under me for the, for the picking stuff, for the fast picking, which I, I had s sort of been uh, in a way doing a good thing, which is if, if I wasn't ready for something, I wouldn't do it. I wasn't ready for it, so I didn't do it. But when I heard Ingve, I was like, I gotta get ready. And I started, you know, metronoming that one, that, that Ingve pattern, which I think he might've gotten that from Al Di Miola and who knows where Al got it. And so that was like the, the when I was 17, it was the summer of the metronome. And my, my dad built me a little metronome that looked like a bomb and had all these curly wires in it. And uh, that was really, I didn't, in most of my life, I haven't really used a metronome, you know, I, I just used my, my, my sort of groove of my body, but that's, that, that was where I, I needed it. And if anything, you use the metronome to slow yourself down so you can get accurate as opposed to like, you know, being on, right on the edge of your ability, you just do it so you can, you know, really just lock it, you know, metronomically into the groove. And uh, I don't know if I've even got that one ready to go, but you know, I you know, gradually built it up. Oh, thank you very much, Ingve. And uh, so that's, that's a reliable lick. The only problem when you learn something like that is when somebody else's lick is every time you play it, you can't help but feel like there's that other guy's lick. So really some of my best stuff came from not learning something exactly right. And uh, that was, that was in a way that, you know, you look, you initially you might look at it as a disadvantage of having, you know, all you have is a, like a vinyl record player with a, you know, the, the 33 speed on it, as opposed to today's, you know, throw it in Pro Tools and you can, you can uh, stretch it out a million different ways. But, uh, you know, trying to learn the licks of these fast guitar players like Eddie Van Halen or, or Ingve and not being able to get it exactly, but then you end up getting your own patterns and, and your own licks, and uh, a lot of the best stuff I've got, even when I joined Mr. Big uh, with Billy, you know, I'd, I used to go see Billy all the time because he played clubs around where I lived, and you know, he'd be doing all these tapping things. But, you know, there's just this wildness on the bass, and I'd, be in the front row watching just going what's going on with, with this tapping stuff and I'd, I'd get home and, and try to kind of approximate it and of course billy you've played played kind of clean so oh what was he? that was like kind of my pseudo billy sheehan patterns and later on of course i got to join a band with him and so I would show him and say, yeah, I got this lick from you. And he'd go, I don't do it that way. <laughs> but it, it worked out great because I, I got my own stuff then. I'm, I'm glad I didn't get it exactly because then it became mine.